Hey everyone, Val here. And Steve. And Steve. And I got an email in uh, my Val's blog email asking me if I would review a product. And I said, absolutely, I love to review products. Just send it to me and I'll be more than happy to review it. The email was from Michael at Specialty Coffee Association of America. So he sent me the link. I asked him also to send me the link to the product so that I could give you product information. So he did do that and the link is going to Amazon. I'll put it in the description box below. And it's the Burr, B-U-R-R, Coffee Grinder Professional Conical Burr Grinder 21 Grind Settings. 31. Oh, 31 Grind Settings, Coffee Grinder, 2 to 18 cup, Coffee Bean Grinder with Espresso Bracket and dosing ring um burr grinder for espresso filter drip mocha it's a coffee maker is what it is all right so let's open it up Sweet. right so i'm excited to be able to grind different kinds of coffee and, and try different coffees so i need to find a place because i found out that uh, food lion doesn't have any choice at all so i'm going to have to find a place to get some Specialty coffees. Battlefield cream ring. Right? Okay. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try that and see what happens. All right. So it's boxed. Oops. Very nicely, right there in the box. And that's what it's looking like. Superb craftsmanship. Delicate taste. It says durable 40 millimeter stainless steel uh, conical burrs create uniform grounds for optimal flavor extraction. One touch start timer, uh, 9.7 ounce bean hopper. All right, let's open this up. I'm excited. I can smell the coffee already. Can you? I bet there's beans in there. All right, do you think? Um, Might be. I'm just guessing. I don't know. It could be. Let me turn you guys down just a little bit here. You can kind of get an idea here. I know we're cutting our heads off, but this is all about the coffee grinder. It ain't about us. All right, so there's a little cord hanging out there. open it up that's what it looks like it's a very um nice size i mean it's not too big and it's not too small i think it's a great size it's like mega cute y'all so this is what it's looking like it is electric it's going to plug in there and it's a little pad to put it on, rubber pad. It has a little brush with it to help to clean it out. That's cute. Um, and it has its little instruction manual here. So I'm going to look at that. It's packaged very nicely. one out everything's wrapped it's nice and clean there's some pieces here don't really know how that goes but I'm gonna have to read the instructions make sure no coffee grounds are left in the lower burr, burr. Everything is individually packaged here. So there's a metal cup here. There's pieces here. 
Let me look at the instruction manual. I'm going to get right back to you. We'll see if we can figure this out. Okay, so we're going to look at the grinder part of this grinder first. So if you look in here, there's a place where the beans are ground. And this twists and come off, comes off for easy cleaning. And if there's coffee ground stuck in there, that's what this little brush is for so you can clean it out. And I would probably even maybe turn it over and shake it out too. There's the lock right there. Alright. So it's twisted. It's locked in. It can't come out. So we're going to lock it into place. I think it's... I have a problem doing it with one hand. Place. Now there's settings here for how fine you want it to be ground. We have a French press. We have the pour over. We have the filter, and this is the size of the cup. Siphon, mocha, and espresso. So you dial it up. There's your little button here that tells you where to put it. You dial it up to however coarse or fine you want the grain, and it's ready to go. So we're going to try out this coffee grinder. I did find out that these pieces down here are for the espresso um, and you have to buy the little pour thing that's sold separately. We don't drink espresso so those pieces are not going to be needed for us. Um, but we're going to try this today and this is Blanchard's Blend. It's a balanced cocoa and caramel coffee bean. And let's see how this uh, grinder does and how this coffee is going to taste. So, um, I'm going to just, I guess, dump some beans in there. It smells really good. Alright, that should probably be enough I would think I'm gonna to try to do maybe eight cups of that so or eight cups of coffee so I've actually got my water in my coffee pot already here and I'm going to pour that into the back of the coffee maker and have that ready and put the top on this now these this is locked down in. Now there's a markings on the front of this. Let me show you here. I don't uh, don't know if I showed you this or not, but um, there are markings here. So if you want French roast or you want pour over, we're going to have filtered coffee. So we're going to keep it in between the 18 and, and 20 mark. It's supposed to be 16 to 20 mark, so somewhere in the middle. Um, this is for siphon coffee, for mocha, and for espresso. So we're going to keep our setting here. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Five. And... Okay, that was five seconds. So let me see. Let's put it on. Oops. going to have to play with this a little bit and see how long I think it's going to take, but this is my first try with this, y'all.
All right, so I'm seeing what it's doing now. So it's grinding here, and as it's grinding, it's putting it down into this. So, oops, I put too much in there because I kind of overfilled it. Uh, but, you know, I have to learn, um, and uh, this is the only way to learn is by playing with it, right? So, let's see. So I've got this here. I'm going to be very careful and put uh, about uh, four scoops, I guess, into here because we're going to try to do the eight cups. So let me put four scoops in there and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I have four scoops in there. Uh, there's still a lot of coffee left in here, so this thing will hold a lot of coffee. I used maybe uh, a half of that almost. Um, so I'm just going to put plastic wrap over the top of this and then put the lid on it to help to keep this fresh and we can use this another time. So, alright, got my thing on there. I'm going to turn it on and let's brew this and see what it tastes like. I think the uh, coffee grinder did a good job. Um, this we did use because we're doing filter coffee at the 16 to 20 and um, I guess as, as many coffee beans as you want to use in there to get the measurement that you want. But for this uh, first try, I think it did very, very well. So let's try out this coffee and see what it tastes like. Well, y'all, I think the coffee grinder did a great job. For my first try, I think I did pretty good. Uh, I have covered up the remainder of the coffee grounds with plastic wrap and covered it up here. Um, so I'm going to try some different kinds of coffees. I think this will be fun to do that with. I've got my coffee cup. I think it's coffee time. I did put a sweet and low in there and some uh, regular original creamer. And uh, because this is a flavored coffee, this is uh, cocoa caramel. And uh, so we're pretty brewed here, I guess. It's still got a little ways to go, but I'm going to quickly pour myself a cup and get this show on the road. So, it looks like a pretty decent cup of coffee. What do y'all think? I think the uh, coffee grinder did a good job. So, let me give it a try. It's got good flavor. Alrighty. I'm going to drink me some coffee and have a good morning. And this is your coffee grinder. So I'm going to keep using it. And uh, thank you. I'm going to put a link to this coffee grinder in the description box below. And thank you for sending me this to review. Um, Catch y'all on the next video. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. And I'll catch you later. Bye now. Mm -hmm.